You know, I don't really have it in for anybody. It's just I'm tired of being lectured to all the time by everybody. When I'm tired of being told that we live in a racist country, when we have done nothing in America for the last 30 years, nothing but celebrate African American culture. We've raised hip hop to the very top of our pop culture. We made African American athletes into the biggest stars on the planet, and we just elected one president twice. If all of that's not persuasive enough to completely debunk the myth, I'm left wondering what else would it take? And you know, maybe that's the beginning of the real racial conversation that needs to happen. While I'm at it, I'm tired of being told that I personally harbor my own racial tendencies. And then when challenged by me to back that up, being told, oh well, it's not my fault if even I can't see it. It's just our deeply institutionalized culture of white privilege. Do you know what I see? That that's just about the biggest line of BS I've ever heard in my life. If you feel like you're being looked at differently because your skin color, may I very gently suggest to you that it's probably a lot more about your personal presentation. Here's an idea. Lose the hoodie and the damn baggy pants while you're at it. You'll probably be just fine. I'm tired of being told that I hate women and that I've declared some kind of a war on all of them simply because I don't feel like I should have to pay for their contraception when it isn't even that expensive to begin with. I mean, these are the same ladies always shaking their fists that the federal government has no place in their bedroom, which, by the way, I agree with them on that. But then they turn around and expect the government to subsidize their bedroom practices. See, that's where the whole thing just kind of breaks down for me. I don't know. And then there's my pro-life stance, which completely defies all logic. If I really hated women that much, why do I always want to see more of them get born? You think about that one. I'm tired of being told that we hate and that we discriminate against LGBTs when, again, we have done nothing but celebrate them for the last 30 years as well. Have you ever been to see a romantic comedy in your entire life? They're not even about the leading lady or gentleman. Haven't been for a long time. They're about the leading lady's gay male best friend who always comes off as more sophisticated, cool, hip, suave, better dressed, more sensitive, more in touch with his feelings, basically superior on all fronts to the poor dumb sap that the leading lady is saddled with. And he's the guy she really wants to be with anyway because in addition to all these things, he actually gets her. And usually about 40 minutes or so into the film, he spontaneously leads the entire cast in song and thereby solidifies his status for the whole rest of the movie. Okay, I get it. I get the message that no matter how hard I try, I will never again will I ever hope to be as cool as you already are, Mr. LGBT. And you know what? I'm, okay. I'm actually okay with that. I will step aside and cede to you the floor. You got it. It's yours. All I'm asking of you now is that now that you're the star, Please don't turn the tables all the way back around on me to be the victim at the same time. Come on now. That's got to just stop. You can't have it both ways. And finally, finally, I am absolutely sick to death of being lectured to all the damn time about science and how scientific it really is. If Bill Nye ever bothered to take the time to crack open a history book, he could read all about the many times in our past that science has gotten it completely wrong. Like, it was only as recently as 60 years ago that they proved the health benefits of cigarette smoking. You know, sort of as a, a workout for the lungs or something. And then, or, or only a generation earlier than that, when they outright proved the supremacy of one single race on this planet over all others. That was widely held scientific consensus a hundred years ago. That's your science for you. 
You'll pardon my skepticism over all of these science-worshipping zealots who want to worship its altar, but only on certain fronts like global warming, while completely ignoring other fronts like pro-life, where science really has proven the presence of a beating heart in the unborn, not to mention real human DNA from the very moment of conception. Gosh, isn't it funny how all these science worshipers never seem to want to talk about any of those things? thing is, all these people I've been talking about in this clip, they actually started off having had some very good legitimate points, but they just beat them to the ground to the point where we just don't want to hear about them anymore. So, for all those racial activists, gender activists, alternative activists, and science worshipers out there, I get it. I get you. Being offended can be very lucrative and pay some very big dividends to you right now. I get it. But you really could dial it back just a little bit. Just think about it. I'll see you next time.